Since 2014, we've been working in Bolivia with students that have moved away from the traditional model of student government and are experimenting with some really innovative forms of democracy. So they no longer hold student elections. Instead, they randomly select their representatives. It's similar to how people are selected to form citizens' juries and citizens' assemblies. They also no longer have the same student representatives for the whole school year. And instead, they take turns rotating in and out of student government. And they no longer have those traditional roles like president and vice president, and instead are experimenting with different ways to work horizontally. So these aren't your typical student governments, and the changes that they've been testing out have shown some real advantages. Random selection makes student governments more inclusive. It opens the door for shyer and less popular students to fully participate because they no longer have to form a political party, run a campaign, and win an election competing against students who are more charismatic and outgoing. And opening the door to all types of students also makes the student governments themselves more diverse and more representative of the student body as a whole. Rotation allows more students to participate and working together horizontally it not only increases teamwork, but it also spreads learning opportunities more equitably. Every member of the student government has to learn to set an agenda, facilitate a meeting, uh, speak in front of the entire school. Instead of focusing these learning opportunities on just a few individuals, like a class president and vice president. So we start by experimenting with a structure that is more inclusive, participative, it's more equitable. And then we as advisors provide tools and capacity building to help student governments work effectively on issues that they identify and that they want to address. So instead of student government being characterized by exclusion and disengagement, we're turning it into a rich learning opportunity that's open to everyone. And the experimentation that's going on is collaborative. The students create their own rules and they put forth their own ideas for how to improve the design. So we're not only developing engaged and effective citizens, but we're also teaching young people to think critically and creatively about democracy and ways that it could be improved. <laughs>